Mara nyingi huwa vigumu kutaja maswala ya ndoa haswa kwa wale wameoa wanawake zaidi ya wawili lakini mwakilishi wa wanawake kaunti ya Kiambu Bigadoni wa Muchomba amelivalia njuga swala hili akiunga mkono kwamba kuwa wanawake wengi sio dhambi na inakubalika kitamaduni We were honest to ourselves when we had our polygamous fathers and our forefathers what wrong did they do what crime did they commit and why did we term it as a crime now If there was no crime they committed and we were born out of those families and we excelled why not go there Wamuchomba amesema vijana wengi ambao wanajiingiza katika uraibu wa madawa ya kulevya hasa pombe wapo katika hali hiyo kwa sababu ya ukosefu wa malezi bora We are so pretentious today and our pretentious lives lifestyle is what is costing us these problems we have today Aida Wamuchomba ameomba wanaume wenye uwezo kutoka jamii ya Kikuyu kuzingatia kuoa wake zaidi ya mmoja amesema malezi ya watoto bila baba ni tatizo kubwa sana kwani huchangia ukosefu wa nidhamu miongoni mwa vijana. So if polygamous is what is going to sort us out, let's go there. Kwani wale wabao wameshikilia mabibi watano kumi wamekufa. Kwani wamepelekwa jela? Akiongezea kuwa ndoa hizi pia zitapunguza visa vya kutoaminiana na idadi ya watoto wanaozaliwa nje ya ndoa. Wamuchomba amesema wanawake wengi wanatamani kuolewa lakini wanaume wengi wanakabiliwa na changamoto ya ulevi hivyo hawawezi kufanya kazi au kusaidia familia. We interact with the members of parliament in, in, in parliament who, who openly talk about their four wives their five wives and they are okay if they never owned to those families maybe they will be street families Wanawake wamelazimika kujihusisha katika uhusiano wa kimapenzi na wanaume walioa ambao baadaye huacha kulea watoto wanaotajwa kuwa wana haramu katika jamii. So for me I'm saying kama wewe ni mwanaume mkikuyu na unaweza kuweka bibi tano weka. Kama wewe ni mwanaume na una uwezo wa kulea lea. Kwani iko nini? Itakumbukwa kuwa mnamo Juni 2015 wanawake katika wadi ya Ndeia walisema kuwa wanaume wao hawakuwa na uwezo wa kutunga mimba kwa kile walipochodai kuwa kujiingiza katika uraibu wa pombe. Nikiripoti ya Ebru Adhuhuri mimi ni Ode Francis.